In this section, we'll be looking at cross-section. We'll open up our cross-section folder and open up cross-section.sc doc. Cross-section is very useful in space claim because it allows you to see inside of a part and how it works. So I'm going to zoom in to our, this side of our part. And you'll notice that we have three modes. Sketch mode, section, and 3D. You can get into a section mode the same way you get into a sketch. Click section mode and select on a face to go into a section on that face. I'm going to go back into 3D and show you the second way. If you click a face and you click section mode, you'll automatically be placed in a section on that face. I'm going to go back to 3D and show you the third way. I like to select on two faces, select on a face on our left, hold the control key down, and roll through the model to select on that second face. Now that I have two parallel faces selected, I can click on section mode and go into a section between them. Now one thing you'll notice is that we have images displayed on both sides of our section. The place that we can go to control section display is in our display tab on the top of the screen. In display tab, we have a section for grid settings. I can choose to fade scene under the grid, turn that on or off, or a clip scene above the grid. Notice if I clip scene above the grid, it hides everything in front. If I rotate the model, it clips it on one side or the other. Let's go back to the Design tab. And I'm going to go into a plan view so I can see this section a little bit better. The important thing about section mode is that I can use the tools we use in 3D in this 2D cross section. Tools like Pull. What looks like an edge actually is representing a face. So I can pull this and make a change make it a little bit wider. If I click on the top, I can pull this and bring this face down. Notice if I rotate the model, you can see it a little bit better. Clicking on a point represents an edge and allows me to round or use any of our edge manipulation tools. Click on a point, copy that edge down, and pull on one of our split regions. So it easily lets you make these changes in 2D and lets you see how it impacts the rest of your model. You can use any of the other tools as well, like Move. If I use Move, I can select on a component and move it to change its location. We'll move this to the right 300 millimeters. Now the last thing I want to show you is how you can use Combine in a cross-section. If I click Combine, it goes through our same tool guides as usual. First, click the target object. I want to cut material away from the purple object, so I'll click it here. I want to keep the cutter, and I want to choose my blue object as a cutter. But you'll notice that nothing's pre-highlighted when I select on our cross-hatching. That's because the only thing that defines a solid are the faces or edges in 2D on the outside. Nothing inside the solid or outside the solid will let you click it. Only where the faces intersect with the section. So now I can click our cutter object and that cuts this purple solid into three pieces. And just in, like in 3D, I can click to remove any of our extra regions. Now that we've made some edits to our solid on the left, let's look at going into several different cross sections. And I'm going to use our Move tool to do that. Move allows me to move grid. 
So an option in our options panel on the left side of our screen is move grid. This lets me take our grid and dynamically drag it and move it to a different region. I can move up or down. I can rotate my model. I'll rotate that 90 and look at a cross section through. So it's a really useful way to see how the part's changing as you move this cross section around. You'll notice that in our mini toolbar on the bottom right hand corner of our grid, there's other options. To quickly go to a 3D mode, select a new sketch plane, move grid just like I did with the move tool, or go into a plan view. Please experiment with cross-section, make a few changes in section mode, and look at cross-section in a few other models.